All right, welcome back to uh, training on iPhoto and organization. Uh, this one is going to cover kind of all the miscellaneous things that we haven't covered yet, like albums, possibly keywords, things like that. Um, so your events and photos, faces, places, if you aren't familiar with these yet, go ahead and check out some of my other videos that uh, are subject or are about this particular subject. Um, but we're going to go ahead and, and move on to some of the, the other ways to organize and possibly do some searches. And one of the biggest one is albums. Um, we have album stuck in our head uh, and that's really designed, uh, we think of an album as you know an actual photo album like we have at home. It's a, you know, a little book and you, it has the little plastic sleeves that you slide your photographs in and it stores photographs. Now same kind of concept here but albums are designed to kind of break down events. So if you think of the event as kind of the, the main bucket, we then use albums to kind of subcategorize the events or multiple events. So we'll take um, these pictures, the winter pics with Bennett. Now some of these are of Bennett with the, we double click, some of them are with the Christmas lights, but some of them are with him in the snow. Now collectively, these are all winter pictures and I want them to, I want to keep them together, but I would like a way to separate all of the pictures of him actually in the snow or of him with the actual lights. And there's multiple ways to do this. Um, or I should say multiple ways to add an album. First, we could go up to the file menu and choose new album. And when I do that, it says, are you sure you want to create an empty album? Um, I can continue and you'll notice there's uh, various different instructions on how to create an album. Like I said before, always 10 different ways to do the same thing. There's no right or wrong answer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose continue and say, yep, I want an empty album. And here, we now have a new category. So we have the library, recent, web, devices is still here because my memory card is still plugged in and now we have albums. Now here I want to put, uh, I'm gonna label it Bennett in snow because I wanna find every single picture. Actually no, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say Bennett outdoors because I wanna isolate all the pictures that Bennett is outside. So when I go back to events, Bennett actually is outside in this picture. So I'm gonna double click, open this event. And all I do is drag this photograph to this album. And now this picture, it still lives inside of this event. That's the original picture, but that picture now is referenced in this album. So if I delete this picture, if I press delete on the keyboard and says, are you sure you want to remove the photo, not delete it? It's just removing it out of this album. That picture still is inside of the event. Whereas if I put this back inside of the album and we go back to the album, we have this uh, picture of him on the swing. If I go back to the event and if I delete that picture out of the event, it will delete it out of the album. So be cautious of that. Your events really are your main organization tool. These are, your albums are just subcategorizing. And the photos would have done it also. If I delete a picture out of photos, it's just like the events. It's also gonna delete it out of the albums. Now luckily, I can quick go to the trash in iPhoto. Again, not the trash down in your dock. When you delete a picture out of iPhoto, it doesn't head to this trash first. It goes to the trash in iPhoto. And I can simply click on the little circle in the bottom right and say put back and it will automatically put this picture back in the event that it came from. So notice that picture is right back where it was. Awesome, awesome feature. So if you accidentally delete something and you weren't sure which event it was, it will automatically put it back. Now let's continue with our albums here. We want uh, all of Bennett Outdoors. So I'm gonna go and drag this into the outdoor. We'll go back to all events double click on this one and we got lots of them outdoors lots of them so i'm going to select multiple here drag these and another thing to pay attention notice under recent it says halloween because we're in the halloween event as soon as i go to another event double click on bennett in the leaves you'll notice halloween goes away 
because this is showing you your last event that you were recently in. The reason for this, and these are pretty much all outdoors, and so I'm not going to necessarily add them, but you kind of get the concept. But the reason for this recent event is often we're scrolling through our pictures, we're in one, we don't necessarily recognize, we forget the, the event that we're in, so we quickly go out of it. And now we're, we don't remember which event we were in. Well, if I go back over here, I can say, oh yeah, I was in the winter picks with Bennett. And I click on here and it brings us right back. So you can kind of tell, it's just another way for us to, to notice where we were at. So now I have my album here and all of these pictures and they're from different events. Uh, you can put whatever you want into an album. Album is just designed to help you further organize or subcategorize your photographs.